What you find us here today in Salinas, probably one of the most sought after areas in the whole area actually, in what is known as the Golden Triangle. Uh, behind me you'll see Gigi's, on that side we have Quinta del Lago and on the other side we have Val Lobo and obviously this boardwalk, I mean what a day, what a beautiful day to see it, it's at its absolute best actually. Salinas itself, you know, the boardwalk, it offers the ultimate in outdoor living, you know, cycling, jogging, walking to the restaurants in Val Lobo or at the lake in Quinta. It's just on your doorstep. And that's what makes it so tranquil and beautiful. Today, we're gonna to see a very, very beautiful, traditional Salinas style house. It has been renovated in large parts, but there are still some bits and pieces that can be added to make it even more desirable. Just a short walk away, so let's go and have a look at the villa itself. Just taking the short walk from the boardwalk, and here we are, and James is here to help, thank God. <laughs> um, what we have, a classic, traditional Salinas villa, a circa 700 square meters in size, including basement, actually. Got classic bathrooms in their original state with the Italian marble and whatever. Nowadays, people are changing um, aspects of bathrooms and whatever, but I think just generally, done a really nice job yeah, I think over the years. Right. The, the alterations that they have made are exquisite and you can't really fault them um, but like you say some elements that you know someone a new buyer may yeah. want to have a look at but, I mean we're very fortunate to be filming here today Salinas is a, a really really desirable yeah. location, Top um, location particularly over the last sort of yeah. five years it's really come up as one of the more exclusive and prominent addresses in our in our area really um, and we're in a very nice part of the development here almost right tucked away at the, at the back corner of it so which is due you know to the boardwalk you know that's the, you know yeah. but it's so tranquil yeah absolutely. it's such a lovely quiet area let's go and have a look at the at the villa itself so just about to enter the villa obviously one thing you will notice um, the sort of classic terracotta look it works really well in this type of villa, actually. We've got two bedrooms, one on this side and one on the other, both en suite. All the windows are new. We've got, I mean, what I love, you know, really high ceilings. It gives that sort of classic villa feel. Obviously, the bathroom here, en suite, as mentioned. These doors here, they got that sort of retro vibe about them, which I absolutely love. Good, solid doors, but with this classic sort of, yeah, retro vibe. That's all I can really describe it as. Moving into the other bedroom again, another nice size, good size bedroom. Dual heating and air conditioning inverted. Another ensuite bathroom. Good size, actually, good size bathroom. So, Obviously, I'm back in the hallway here. You've got this sort of vaulted ceiling here, which I actually think is really nice. The house has this sort of classic villa style, uh, which is almost a sort of a, a Venetian, <laughs> it has a sort of a Venetian feel to it to me, with these pillars and this sweeping staircase. Now, I know that the current owners were actually had considered to replicate what's happened in the rest of the house, a more sort of contemporary feel, you know, to actually put in a met more of a sort of a mezzanine style um, stairwell. But this really works well. I mean, and obviously you've got this massive ceiling height above me. We're obviously going to go and have a look at the upstairs uh, later, but good spacious hallway, another toilet, guest toilet to my right there and then obviously two entrances um, into the lounge area on this side lounge dining room area and on this side we come into the kitchen area where there's a, a utility room here big utility room which has been as you can see you know modern work surfaces lovely modern doors again plenty of space for a laundry room I don't know if you've noticed these arches, Emily, um, walking in to this very modern kitchen. The outside area actually is what I love about this property. Um, it's an amazing entertainment area, but we'll come to that in a minute. I'm sure if Cindy was here, she'd be loving the kitchen, you know, good quality granite, excellent kitchen, natural wood, and the combination with the white, contemporary look really works well. 
This is the dining area, as discussed. And we have these beautiful sort of, which are now very contemporary, very innovative, these steel doors uh, with the glass. It really works well, which, you know, obviously you can open to make it even more spacious, but you know, you can have it just as a dining area here, beautiful. I mean, actually the furnishing in this house is absolutely lovely. And then we walk into, what is effectively the lounge area, living room area. Again, good ceiling height, good quality windows, the classic flooring. I think if we pan back towards the dining room and the kitchen there, people will get a perspective of how, how big this house is and what sort of quality living it provides. Coming down into here, we have, this is more of a kiddies room in the way it's set up currently, but a sunken lounge area works really well. The cornices in here, you know, are, are absolutely lovely. There is an open fire, they choose not to use it, but it is set up for if somebody wants a wood burner or an open fire, that is easily um, possible in this property. James is actually loitering with intent. Great house, huh? Great house, yeah. I mean, we've only just sort of scratched the surface, but. Yeah. Here we are on the first floor landing. Um, I've just had the chance to climb that tr quite incredible staircase, actually. And you get a sense up here of the scale of the, the sort of entrance hall of this property. I mean, massive double height ceilings, impressive staircase, obviously. And then this landing, which feeds you onto all three bedrooms up here. We'll start with this one. They're all en suite up here, but the other two have quite a unique layout, which we'll come to. So I'm actually gonna take you down to the bedroom at the end of the landing first, which is the second bedroom up here on this level. Again, nice things to note, really high ceilings, even up here on the first floor. Tall glass windows, allowing lots of light to flood in. I can actually spy a little sea glimpse over there in the corner. And we're now gonna retrace our steps back to the entrance of the master. I mentioned it's a slightly interesting configuration here. Basically, the bathroom is shared, but we'll come to that. Master suite, first few things to note are this enormous closet just on the right-hand side as you enter. And then, again, ceilings, natural light, sort of ornate detailing in the middle here and a fantastic balcony. Okay, so if you want to follow me now into the, the bathroom suite. Really large as bathrooms go, his and hers sink walk-in shower as well, Lou tucked away in a corner there, and then this fantastic bath um, overlooking the garden. Now, this is a shared bathroom, so you can actually access from bedroom two in here, so I hope that makes sense the way in which we came round and about it, but it's just to sort of signify that. Um, it is massive up here. You could easily split this into two and have two genuine en suites. That wouldn't be inconceivable at all. Here we are again in the hallway. It goes to show what a central feature of this property, this space is. We're going to go down and do the basement. There is plenty of potential down there, a lot of space. It's, it's easy to get carried away with what you could do in terms of how you'd want to work it. We'll do that before we go and catch up again with Neil. And really the possibilities are limitless. I mean, they've already got equipped with a big double garage. Just behind Emily is currently set up as an office. And as we work our way through, we find a uh, kids playroom. Current owners have three small ones so I think they use this space quite a lot and this this layout works for them. This could be anything really, it could be a cinema room, games room and then through this door is where you really have to let your imagination um, take you really. There's an enormous cavity, I would say that this is probably most of the foundations of the property so a few hundred square meters down here. But high ceilings which is always good in basements because you don't always tend to have that. Another space down here this really wraps around so and is crying out for some development. I mean, it goes all the way down to the end here. 
Before we go back round to meet Neil at the pool area, I know he's keen to show you the outdoor barbecue. I'm just here on this side of the property, which has the off-street parking by an electric gate, and then the access down to the garage and basement area that we've already looked at. So thanks for that, James. I'm on an elevated terrace here overlooking the swimming pool, and they've created this amazing outdoor entertainment area. I'd love to show you now, obviously, from this, from this elevated terrace, you know, it's great if the kids are in the pool, keep an eye on them, but plenty of space. I think we said from the very start of the video, 1,300 square meters, so a sizable plot. But off the kitchen here to my left, and then we walk into this ultra sort of contemporary entertainment area. I think it's amazing. Again, this sort of the classic steel doors you know around this can be opened up in the summer months if one should wish but in the winter a lovely winter's evening sitting out everything is catered for in here dishwasher oven we've got the the barbecue on this small terrace out here i love this property i think it's it's got lots of elements that are quite unique uh, you don't find an awful lot in our area. Uh, I'm sure we've touched on every single positive going, location being almost the prime one, but yeah. I mean, what a house in this location anyway. Big um, house. Great size house, um, and then, yeah, and the potential that comes along with it. It's funny, isn't it, how yeah. those sort of classic elements work with the contemporary basement area. I mean, it's... The potential in the basement is, yeah. is staggering, really. Great size plot very private yeah great location i don't think i can add any more so thanks yeah. james thank you neil yeah good, as good. always all the information will be below yeah get in touch please speak to you soon thank you